The Crown Tundra will have a new form of co-op play as well. This will allow you and friends to enter and explore Pokémon dens that exist underground in the Crown Tundra. Deep inside the dens, you may see legendary Pokémon from past games Dynamaxing before your eyes. You'll be able to meet and make allies of all kinds of legendary Pokémon during your adventures in the Crown Tundra, including ones you'll be able to catch through this co-op play. It also appears that some brand new legendary Pokémon are also waiting to be found somewhere in this land. And combined with the Isle of Armor, dozens of new clothing items will be added. Plus, there will be new battles waiting for you to challenge once you complete your entire game, including the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. We can't go into the details of everything, but we're working on planning and developing new ways to enjoy Pokémon even as we speak. The Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra areas themselves are actually two key examples of the things we're working on. Both areas are in fact seamless maps, much like the wild area you can already experience in the Galar region, where players are able to move around freely and control the camera. Of course, you'll be able to connect with other trainers and play with them too. There will be Pokémon dens as well, and you'll be able to engage in max raid battles against Pokémon that haven't previously appeared in the Galar region. There's more to see and do on the Isle of Armor and in the Crown Tundra than there was even in the Wild Area. We'll bring you more information about them in future news reports, so please stay tuned.